Hey Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistener Elf here. I'm going to be playing a quick little game just to test out my modern Luris Infect deck. Uh, so this is the... I, I A couple weeks ago I gave a, a deck tech on this. Uh, this is made to take advantage of the fact that Luris lets us recur not just infect creatures, obviously that's going to be nice, uh, but we can recur draw effects through Mishra's Bobble and Nile's Spellbomb. And that lets us find the cards we need to go off. So, looking at this hand, this is normally not a keepable hand. Um, and I shouldn't do it. I should not keep this hand. There is a, a side of me that wants to keep it for testing, because even if it doesn't have a creature, it has a creature in Luris. And it does have three lands. However, I don't have anything that I can do ahead of time. Uh, so... <laughs> Alright, so we're going to try this again. We're going to take a mulligan. Let's see. Oh, wait, no, that's not it. Hey, there we go. Alright, so we'll confirm that. And how are you, by the way, folks? I'm doing okay. Alright, so we have a creature. We have one, two lands, and yeah, this is this is a keep. Uh, we'll say keep, and now I have to decide which one to put on the bottom. And it's probably going to have to be Vines of Vastwood. I don't know what my opponent's on, but I do know that they're on a brew. If I didn't know that, it would probably be Nile Spellbomb. Uh, brews don't generally have a whole lot of interaction. Uh, but the fact that I have this means that I could go for a turn 3 kill. I uh, know I. Oh, I'm a little bit shy. L no! Oh, I'm. Uh, I, I need to let them know. Thinking. Alright. Yeah, so I, I do need to hurry it up. Um. This may be wrong, but I'm going to take the chance on Vines of Vastwood. Hello? Put that on the bottom of the deck. Alright, and here we go. So we'll start off with a Bobble. And a Fetch Land. We will crack the Bobble now. Um... Look at the top card of my Ek. My Ek. Uh, because I have a fetch land, so I can actually determine what I would like that card to be. So, we'll look at the top card. What is it? What do we have? We have a Seal of Strength. That's interesting. I like that. I think that I'll keep that on top, actually. Okay, cool. So that's good. Pass turn. Draw from Bobble. There we go. Ooh, okay. I like this already. Now, I haven't really given my opponent information as to what I have just yet. Um, since we have a ground spell, I'll actually take a natural draw here instead of fetching first. Alright, so there we go. Oh, we got it. We got there. So, crack this and then nurturing peatland because it doesn't look like the life total is going to matter too much in this matchup. And I'll just 18 from the peatland, just get that out of the way. Uh, I am a little bit worried about Blood Moon, so I am going to play around that. Because that is something... Now, they did declare black, but just in case. Alright. So, Plague Stinger, and pass. Alright, let's see if we can do it. I mean, hopefully they're, they're not going to make it past this next turn. Hopefully. And worst case, the Plague Stinger gets hit, we'll have Luris next turn. Luris, Bobble, and start getting to do Luris things. Just Luris things. As you do. By the way, oh, uh, you took one from Nurturing? Ah, oh, they, they, they found it. They got there. Um, so, shoutouts to Chris Long from Tapstart Games. Uh, right now, I'm recording in the daytime and it's really, really bright, but when I'm recording at night, he actually uh, sent me over some lights, or it has sent me they're on the way 
So <laughs> that's kind of cool. All right, I'm gonna say no response. Hi, Goif. That's fun. Oh boy, this is gonna be good times. Do I have him dead? Let's find out, I guess. So that'll make things easy. Oh, Glistener Elf. Well, that's not that's not dead. They're not dead yet. So in that case, I think I'm going to. Play a land. Uh, we'll put out the Nile Spell Bomb. No, wait a minute. I'll do the Seal of Strength first, probably. Um, I, I messed up a little bit. It's okay. This was a weird, weird line. Um, should have played the Nile Spell Bomb. Uh, so if I crack this fetch land, I'm not going to have Groundswell uh, turned on, Landfall turned on. I goofed. I goofed. Um, okay. Yeah. We can deal a lot of damage here, especially since I already used the Groundswell when I did. So that's probably, yeah, that's probably what we'll do. We'll fire off the Groundswell here because I messed up. Um, so we'll go to combat. Alright. And, uh, what is this? Inf- aha, okay, okay. Fair enough. I see what they did there. Uh, so just five. Wait a minute. Why are they taking an extra one? Should be just five. I haven't popped the seal yet, you see. Oh, so they're, they're accounting for the seal. No seal yet. <laughs> oh, it's all good, it happens. Uh, and so now, now things I can do. Uh, because I did that early, I can probably play the Glistener Elf here, I guess, just as a blocker, just in case. I don't know that that's right, though. But, you know, we can use Luris next turn. We'll, we'll be okay. That'll be fine. Alright. Yeah, this this is weird. I, I messed up, and I, I doomed myself to this janky line that makes a negative amount of sense. Uh, but it's okay. It's okay. There we go. Now I'll pass the turn. Alright. Let's see what the opponent has with all of their mana. Uh, yep, I took two. Yep, I took the two. Because uh, of the way that I did that, they may not have seen. But I, I went from 18 to 15 there, so fetch shock. Oh, did I get a... Really? Really, Jay? <laughs> Alright, my B. My B. Thankfully, oh. Yeah, no, no. Thankfully, we don't know where any of the cards are in the deck anymore. So that works. That works out. Because I, I shuffled previously. To be fair, they look alike. Yeah. <laughs> but they're alphabetical, so I don't really have an excuse. Alright. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Alright. So then, it should be their turn. They've untapped. Hey, there we go. Alright, so then next turn, we'll be able to play Lurus and Bobble, or since they are playing Tarmogorf, we may drop the Nile Spellbomb on them. Um, we're very close to having Lethal here, though. You know, technically, if they just swing out, they're dead, unless they have removal. Uh, so if they swing with the Tarmogoyf, one, two, five, and they're already at five. So they can't attack here, plus Tarmogoyf can't block the one that really matters. So what I'll end up doing probably is if they don't attack, I'll take the spell bomb, pop it, 
target probably myself. Um, it, it hurts me if I draw become immense, but otherwise it shrinks the goif. And that way I'll have a chance to draw a card and just close the game out. Even a noble hierarch would be lethal because of exalted. Alright. So what's going on? Let's see. Crossing fingers, hidden dragon. Alright. And this is why we play test. We want to learn. Are they attacking? Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh. Let's say no blocks. On the off chance that they don't have another creature here somehow, they are at 5 mana as well, so that's not quite Primeval Titan. Alright, so just 3. There we go. Alright, got there. Alright, so they should be dead. Um, which is to say they're absolutely not dead. There is something going on here. There is totally something going on. Oh, and there's Pendlehaven too. So they're dead in a couple ways. Oh man, uh, that helps a lot actually. Maybe. No, it, it doesn't because they have like a fatal push or something in hand. Hmm, okay. So we'll start off by playing the Nile Spell Bomb. Alright. Combat. Ooh. Ooh, if I draw scale up, I'm not going to be able to play it now since I've already gone to combat. Ooh, that's awkward. Okay. Well, let's let's find out. They may just not have anything. It is it is a ramp deck. All right. No blocks, I assume. Ooh. Assassin's Trophy. Oh, uh, let's target you. It doesn't actually tap. But we're going to shake Glistener Elf. Alright, what you got? Lethal? Do you have a second? Oh, okay, okay. Um, I messed that up so hard. I'm glad that worked out. Yup. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Let's try that again. That was... That was terrible. That, that could have been a little bit better. Uh, there we go. Keep existing deck. We will try this again. Seeing if we're doing sideboarding. Shuffle. Oh, it has been reset and shuffled. There we go. Got there. Got there, folks. All right. So, um, guess I'll draw. Since it doesn't look like they're going to sideboards, guess I'll draw sideboards. They're not going to their sideboard. One, two lands, three lands. There we go. That's a land. Bobble. And yeah, we are in super good shape with this hand. Oh, I guess I need to pass it to them, actually. There we go. We are in super good shape here. A fine hand. You haven't lived until you've pumped a 3-2 life linker with Mightable Crosa, by the way. Seems pretty good. We'll try to play tighter this time. Um, more tightly. We'll try to, to play better this turn. Time around. I'm tired, can you tell? That's what the coffee's for. That's what the coffee's there to help with. That's what the coffee's there to try to help with. Ooh, there we go. Well, let's see. Alright, so they're drawing. Right with that. Nope, that's too close to my hand. Let's get that away. What could go wrong? Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, um, hmm, okay. So I guess we just play this. 
again, a little bit too far. Bobble, do the same thing. Uh, look at mine. I, I would like the information, but I have a fetch land. So we'll look at the top card, see if it's something we're interested in. Ooh, yes, yes we are. Okay, cool. Oh, hello. Draw from Mishra's Bobble. And then, yep, there we go. Alright, cool. Cool! I like that. Yeah, we don't even have to... With two Might of Okrosa, we end up at 9. Scale up, though, we end up at 10. Turn 3 kill. That seems okay. Seems legit. A little bit. Okay. Now what do we have going on? Is this like a weird Jun ramp deck or something? Uh, no, it's probably just getting... It's Maybe it's Golgari and it's just a fetch land they have to throw in to get more. That makes sense. That makes sense. Alright. Yeah, there we go. That'll do it. Yeah, life total doesn't really matter, so they can... Well... Yeah, might as well. Right? Crank it down one. Get our deck thinning on. Let's go get an overgrown tomb. This time. Right. There we go. And then untap. Upkeep draw. Ooh, dismember. In case we feel like it. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Okay. So we don't have anything to protect our creature. Our plague stinger. Um... So it could just die to an Assassin's Trophy, but thankfully we have Lurus. So if we don't get the turn 3 kill, we still have Lurus. And that's okay, we can live with that. Plus, it'll be Assassin's Trophy, so we'll get a land out of it. So I, I think we're okay with this. You know, it, it's probably dead, but it's okay. One of the joys of playing this in Infect is that, well, just like with any companion deck, you still have your creature. You know, there's only so much spot removal can matter, especially when the creature you get gets to also draw you a card through Mishra's Bobble. So that seems pretty good. Alright, so, Drew, play the land. Alright, Assassin's Trophy. Do it. Ooh, Collective Brutality. Uh, we'll see what modes they're picking. Because obviously they're going to uh, disfigure this. Um... Presumably, they're also going to take a look at my hand as well. Kill Plague, look at your hand. Alright. So then, let's see. Reveal all once. That's dead. But once again, we're okay with this, because we're still going to have a creature next turn. Oh, and the... Oh, it's Obliterator! Obliterate a rock. Phyrexia, obliterate! <laughs> yeah, so, uh... Shoutouts to everything about that card. Everything about Phyrexia and Obliterator. When it attacks, especially when it attacks for lethal, it's... It's the, uh... It's Exodia. No, it's not. It's no nowhere near that strong, but its name is close enough. I just... I want to make the meme. I want to make the joke. Alright. Take your time. My grandpa's deck has no pathetic cards. That was no, no, that was Yami that said that at the time, so it's like, my grandpa's deck has no pathetic cards. Kaiba. But it does have this. Pretty bad deck, but I want to make a deck with lots of beefy creatures. I don't blame you. Alright. I can throw some suggestions your way after. Oh, hello. I want to try to help, but 
I don't want to sound like, yeah, I've, I've been doing this deck for years, you need to listen to me. No. Alright, there we go. Dismember seems like the right choice. Uh, they do see that I have lethal technically, uh, is this discard or exile? Yeah, discard. Okay, good. Making sure there are cards that do that. <laughs> Alright. Oh boy. Okay, so let's see. Uh, swinging for, this should be sorcery, instant, creature, land. This should be a 4-5, right? Artifact. Sorry, it's a 5-6. Hope you don't draw a creature. At least you have a five six. Yeah, that's a uh, that hurts. I'm hurt, dog. Don't ask if I'm okay. Okay. <laughs> now, unfortunately, Luris doesn't benefit as much from scale up, so we are going to save that. We are going to save scale up for a bit. Speaking of. Hello? Can we not? Alright. So I have to take one. And then just hope that they don't get there. Pass the turn. Another thing I can do is I can actually play- Oh crap! <laughs> Oops. Oops. Yeah, um... Yeah. Oops. Oops. Might be. Well, you know what? It's okay. This is practice. If I if I mess up, hopefully that'll stick with me. I'm I can't possibly be the first person for to whom that's happened. I will not be the last. And going through that experience enough times. You already drew, so let's say you bobbled yourself. Um well, I, I wasn't going to crack it since it shrinks the goif. I wasn't going to crack it yet. I had that planned in my head, I just forgot to do it. Just got to passing the turn too quickly. Oh well. Oops. Yeah, so it's supposed to be wait till the end of their turn, then crack it. Alright. Mmm. Okay, that hurts. Okay, now we're in we're in real bad shape, folks. We're in really bad shape. Okay, um, I mean, we can still win, because there's Plague Stinger. So we're going to go to 8 here. If they don't have another removal spell, we're fine. We're going to play the Plague Stinger, go to 7, take a hit, go to 2. Ooh. Even better. Even better. Okay. Ah. Uh, I mean, I'm going to have to pay the life for this anyway, so might as well. Pass turn? Yeah, Blossoming Defense. That's real good. It's a three of in the deck in this current incarnation, as I recall. Beep! Alright, what else you got? Do you have Fatal Push? Fatal Push or Bust. <laughs> I try. <laughs> oh no. Oh hello, I can spell. In hand, as you see. Alright, there we go. Yeah, they already see lethal. They see <laughs> this is a lot of this is a lot of damage. This is entirely too much damage. True. Yeah, alas. Um, game three just for fun? I mean, worth a shot, right? 
See if they might be okay with another one. Uh, this deck is doing well in spite of my mistakes. <laughs> um, I am not doing it justice, but, you know, when, you're, when your deck is silly good and running Luris and stuff like that, you can get away with it. Alright, so let's try this again. So we'll scoop them on up. Oh, yep, there we go. Or that works. Even better. Uh, how about we keep this same deck? Alright. How about... How about no? <laughs> Pass it over to you. Scoot Luris down here. Should have shuffled me already. Draw seven cards. See what we get. Alright. So, I see Land Noble Hierarch, which is a little bit risky. Especially when that only... Oh, I don't have any black mana. Then again, I have only green cards, but I won't be able to cast Luris. Uh, so if I had a... If I had an actual Infect creature, this might be okay. But since I don't, this has to be a mulligan. This deck hasn't been forcing me to mulligan this much. Two out of three is not great. Okay, so this is fine. We have Fetchland... Ink, uh, Ink Moth and Noble Hierarchs. We're going to go turn one, Noble. Turn two, Plague Stinger with Ink Moth up. Uh, Dismember is probably the card that I need the least in this hand, uh, unfortunately. Although it does work off of Ink Moth Nexus, so there is that. But I, given what we have here, I really need the Vines, as it turns out. This is an interactive deck. It's not just Ramp, it's Rock. So we're going to put this on the bottom. Hello? There we go. Keep. Alright, uh, so probably no Luris this game, but also probably no need for Luris this game. We have lethal in hand. Well, kind of. We need an another green source. We need triple green to have lethal. One, two, and we need another one. Alright, let's see what you have. See what you're working with. Alright. Ooh! Dang. Uh, well, I mean, Thoughtseize doesn't do anything against Luris. Luris is a dumb card, folks. Luris is a dumb card. Okay, Plague Stinger. I don't dislike that. It does put me on having Ink Moth still. Um, but if I only have one removal spell, that's fine. So here we go, go to my turn, Duro. Play the one that they know about. Go to 17, so that it doesn't reveal that I have an overgrown tomb. Because if I don't get an overgrown tomb, tomb here, they know I have an overgrown in hand. So, there's that. And then play Noble, because that lets us, that lets us have all the things. Alright, let's see. So what do we have here? Ooh! Ooh! Okay. Well, there goes Noble, I guess. Yeah, this is a lot more removal than I was expecting. When you see Utopia Sprawl, that doesn't... that doesn't usually do it. <laughs> okay. Hello? Oh, jeez. There we go. Alright, so they have Vines and Might, and there is a right answer here. And the right answer is take Vines. If they don't, that tells me they don't have any more removal. Likely. Almost certainly. Uh, Vines of Astwood, yep, there we go. Okay, well this is, this is not shaping up well for me. I mean, granted, we still have a creature in hand. Not just technically, but actually a creature in hand. Alright. And then pass turn. I'm, if at all possible, I'm going to try to wait on Luris so that I can go Luris Noble Hierarch. Um, instead of potentially losing Luris. Yep, that's good. So let's see what we have. Do we have a land drop? Nope, we have Noble Hierarch. Huh. Well, we can't go for lethal here because we don't have the mana. It's Ink Moth. Alright, 
and pass turn. And we can just go for lethal next. Oh, E of T? Kill it. Oh, okay, no. <laughs> no. No! No! God, no! Shouts to the office. No! Okay. Alright, there we go. Just fetching for deck thinning. It works. And get it in while it won't cost you life. Though, that doesn't really matter in this matchup. We're gonna have a ton to work with uh, next turn. Hmm. Arbor Elf. Okay. Um, so, things we don't have to worry about for this coming turn. We don't have to worry about Abrupt Decay. But we have a Glistener Elf. So I can activate... Um, hmm. We won't have any mana left over if I fail this time. Um... But we have a Plague Stinger. Guess we just go for it. They have one card in hand. What's the voice that could happen? Make him have it. Do you have it? <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay. Um... Thank you, Game 4. Hey, I'm, I'm always down with more magic. Hmm. Always and then some. Well, I say always. Uh, my first time in YouTube again. <laughs> Uh, it's all good. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> I have no room to judge there either. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Uh, we'll keep the same deck, of course. Actually, this is the only deck that I have registered for mod registered, uh, listed for modern on here. Uh, on Untap, you get 10 decks for free, basically. You get to make, you get to design and hold up to 10 decks. But if you don't want to pay for it, sorry, you, uh, you have to take one out in order to add another one. So let's see. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, just because this is testing, I'm going to force one that only has Luris in it. I'm gonna force a hand with only Luris. Though, even in that case, this is not great. Um... We get to go turn two Luris, and that's fine. All right. Do I get to go? Keep? Uh, they can go first, I guess, because they did lose the last one. Yeah, and they're already on it. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, well, that looks fine, because if they have a Utopia Sprawl next turn, we're in... <laughs> we're in a decent shape. No, we're not. Oh, we get Glistener Elf, too. Okay, well, never mind. This hand just went to godlike status. Um, just in case, I'm actually going to play this now. I'm going to take two here. It'll give me, bleh, give me the ability to do turn two Luris if I actually think that that's better. There we go. We got there. Eventually, folks, we got there. I feel like I'm waking up as a- oh, oh, no, no, they didn't have another land drop, we're fine. If they had another forest, then played Utopia Sprawl in the previous one, they have turned to four mana. Which I've seen for people doing, like, Bloodbraid Elf, or Chase the Mind Sculptor on turn two. Okay. They did have one. Why did they do it that way? Why? Okay. I am confuzzled. Alright. Um, 
I have Groundswell, so I'm going to save the fetch land for later. But we can go... Glistener Elf. Since I don't actually use the blue or white for anything in this deck, it's better to leave the land open, I would say. And then pass turn, see if it's dead. Alright. UT, kill it. Kill it with fire. Boop! <laughs> it's still probably dead. It's still probably dead. Okay. Cool, we got there. Oh boy. Ooh. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What just happened? Um, checking the log. Okay, so Fatal Push, Lost Me Defense. Cool. Tapped Arbor Elf, Untapped Forest, Tap Forest. Um,. Would you like to do that in response to Blossoming Defense on Glistener Elf? Before letting it resolve? Okay, that works. That works. <laughs> okay, uh, that, that took me a sec. I, I think what they might have been trying to do is... Oh, I have no other... Oh, no, no, I do. I do. It's snow. It's under snow. Uh, they might have been doing the same thing that I did, where a mistake was made, and they just kind of ran with it. Like, Blossoming Defense resolved, and so they just ran with it. Uh, but no, no, we can back that up. That's fine. We can absolutely back that up. So if I don't... I'm gonna be able to go next turn Lurus Glistener Elf. So we'll be okay, unless they drop a bomb here. Okay. Ha! There we go. All right. Well, we don't have the <laughs> we don't have the kill on in two turns because of that. But you know we're okay. We have a a three two life linker. Except no, we don't. We have a <laughs> what is that? A seven six life linker. I can live with that. Wait till we get our seal of strength online. You can loop that with Luris. It's so silly. Just have a six five every turn for the low low price of one mana. Okay. What do we have going on here? Yep, okay. Untap it. Here we go. Uh, is this Obliterator? Oh no, it's Swag Tusk. Swag Tusk. Oh no, you got the border. You got the one with the super big border. Oh, I hate that one. It's fine. Oh! Well, we're still going to get the Glistener Elf out. Oh no, we can't cast Lur. Oh yeah, we can. We have to. We have to give up the groundswell to do it. That's right. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Uh, just for the time being. All right, there you are. There you are, buddy. I'm gonna be a little bit OCD about this little bit. I'm going to keep them together. Keep the correct ones together, I guess. Alright, there's Lurus. Alright. You know, there's a case for not... I mean... There's still a case... Ah, uh, it's fine. So, Plague Stinger flies, Glistener Elf doesn't, and there's a, a Swag Tusk. So... I guess I goofed, maybe? Question mark? Um, it's fine. We'll make it work. Uh, worst comes to worst, we can actually pump one of our creatures to kill the Swag Tusk. And this is when it leaves the battlefield. Okay. Okay, well, that's good to know. Hmm. Oh, what did I... What did I do? Should yeah, I, I used it for Luris. I 
Uh, should be. <gasps> oh no! Okay, punt, uh, slight punt. Um, Lurus is Orzov. I could have used the white mana off Noble Hierarch so that I could also cast Plague Stinger. I had the mana to do that. Oh, oh crap. There we go, we got there. Alright, I goofed, I goofed. Um, so this should have been Forest, Tomb, Noble, Lurus. Noble, Tomb, Plague Stinger, Forest, Glistener Elf. And then I, I have a silly, silly field. Um, but I messed up. Okay. Now that, that's fine. We do still have a 5-4 lifelinker. So that's okay. We're, we're going to take 5 and... Well, we'll see, actually. They may have some more stuff to throw at us. Ooh, on the edge of my seat. Not that it's... Oh! Man, okay, well we really, really needed that Plague Stinger. Yeah, we're, we're not gonna do this off lifelink. That's not a thing anymore. Uh, I need to save that. I need to save Dryad Arbor. Well, this is fun. Oh boy. Alright, anything else we can get out of the yard? No. No, there is not. I can attack with Glistener Elf. Cast Glistener Elf back using Lurus. That's not a bad idea. I mean, it doesn't actually do us anything. Okay, so if I attack with Glistener Elf, that's three that gets through, if they don't block, which they will block. But it'll shrink the Worm Coil engine. And Worm Coil, yeah, okay. Hmm. Yeah, this only cost one mana to do, so I, I might as well do it. Uh, okay, okay. Go to combat. Swing three. They know about the groundswell, and they know that it's not turned on. Oh, did it not go through? Oh, there it went. Slow internet, I guess. Mm. Alright, so thinking, that's good. That's always a good thing. Uh, they know about the one card, and they know that I have five just from that. So, I would have to have two pump spells or a become immense. Become immense would actually get there because of how much mana we have. We have a ridiculous amount. We don't even need the yard. We could just hard cast become immense now. Um, I don't know how much they... Because they were surprised by blossoming defense, so I don't know how much they know about what's in infect. So this might... They might not know to think about become immense. It's hard for me to imagine why they wouldn't block here. Uh, if they don't block, that's three. And then we'll have Plague Stinger, one. Groundswell, five, next turn. Se and this will be seven. So that'll be lethal if they don't block. Not now, but later. They might also be imagining, hey, since I have Lurus out, I can just get Glistener Elf back anyway, which is true. That is true. And I'll have that as my blocker next turn, regardless. Alright. They can take their time. I... No, no, I'm out of coffee. They need to hurry. <laughs> they need to hurry up. Yep, just a drop. If that. All right. So how are you all doing? <laughs> I'm learning more about the deck. The more I play it, the more I'm I'm getting used to it. Things like remembering that you can use Noble Hierarch for Lurus. I knew that. I don't know why I didn't. Whoa. Yo. Oh, okay. Oh. Mega lag. Logger's declared response. Sorry, it kicked me for a sec. That'll be fun on the recording. Uh, no problem, no problem. Okay, cool, cool. So that's dead. 
um, I'll say minus three slash minus three because you know that matters uh no 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 yeah wait what uh worm coil doesn't die it just goes from a six six to a hello three three so that worm coil still gets to stick around yeah it's all good it's all good main phase two plague listener elf back hello there we go all right gain four uh you gain six <laughs> Because it still dealt damage. Um, it still dealt six damage. Gain four. <laughs> yeah, it still got to Shrek Glistener Elf. Doesn't only deal three. Um, how do I explain this? Um, minus one, minus one. Hello? I can I can do this. Counters are distributed after damage. I guess is a simple explanation. I don't know. That there's maybe a better way of putting it, but that's as best as I know to say. Don't forget to cast your freaking plague stinger now, Jay. Alright. We're still not in a great spot at all. Um, so, things I can do here. Uh, Glister Elf blocks Swag Tusk. I can live with another Warm Coil hit. I can live with that. We don't have a lot of turns coming up. Take three. All right, they only have a card, so we'll find out. Stay tuned on Dragon Ball Z. See if that's okay with them. Maybe. Yep. Okay, cool. Dead. Oh, hello, I can do this. All right. And then take three. They, they haven't put the counters on this, or, or some way to remind us. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> oh, there they go. They're doing it. They're doing it. <gasps> Ooh. They're hellbent. see your list please I like what you're doing but I wonder if how do I say this the ramp shell is best suited here I say that because you could... Hmm... How do I... How do I say this? Drop the... Oh, uh, so they could drop the big bombs in favor of Luris. And... Luris only applies to permanents. 
Ooh, we get to actually see the list. Hello. Hello, folks. So, deck tech time. Deck tech with T1 Glistener Elf and... Fred Roos, I guess? Alright. Obliterator? Only three obliterators. <laughs> Questing Beast? Rotting Regisaur? Oh, wow. Uh, Tarmogoyf? Swag Tusk? Worm Coil? Treetop Village? I haven't seen this in a hot minute. Let's let that one load, because that's a weird card. Uh, Abrupt Decay? Da da da. If I go over these, then hopefully they'll start loading while I'm looking at the rest. Okay, and you can you can pause if you need, so sorry if I'm going through these pretty quickly. All these lands are pretty standard. Um, you saw plenty of Arbor Elf, so I think you know what that does. Questing Beast. Hello? Yeah, you know Tarmogoyf. Everyone knows Swag Tusk. Okay, um... Just made it today. It's not, re not really optimized. I'm probably too slow, but I want to make a deck with a bunch of creatures I like. Let me see. That's certainly fair. Now let's see. Unfortunately, Obliterator, Questing Beast, they preclude the possibility of getting to use the one that cares about making a bunch of mana. Um, okay. It certainly has a strong mid to late game. I'm trying to think of a good way of, of uh, helping out. So, my, my initial impression is to say that they actually need more spot removal. Um, what's the... Regisaur for? Just a big <laughs> creature with little downside? I mean, it is a 3 mana 7-6. Oh, okay, there's an ad, so... Click. Look at this monstrosity. Now, that's a zombie. I indeed, that is a zombie. It is a 3-mana 7-6. Um, but it doesn't have any other abilities, and for modern, believe it or not, that's probably actually not good enough. I, I say that... I say that... I don't know... Hmm... With a bit more removal, you might be able to buy it some more turns to swing in. Swing in. Swing it. <laughs> Maybe a bit higher on the pushes and decays. Because I like the idea behind it. it. Big creatures that don't have abilities like Trample, although, yeah, you don't have Trample either, are are fine as long as they can actually swing through. Mm. Even like Worm Coil Engine, while it has Death Touch and Life Link, it doesn't actually have Trample. Uh, since they don't really have evasion otherwise themselves so this, this is how I try to help I'm trying now Phyrexian Obliterator doesn't care <laughs> uh, but the rest of these guys they do uh, Questing Beast doesn't have Trample either amazingly this creature that has everything else does not have Trample it's really dependent on them in this matchup yeah sadly only Phyrexian Obliterator has Trample itself. Bit lame, but uh... With all the... Oh, you know what? Actually, let me take a look. How many forest? Maybe. You could try Twilight Grove in place of some forest. Uh, but that 
hurts the Utopia Sprawl bit. Hmm. I'm trying. I'm trying to help. <laughs> hmm. That's a good one. Yeah. So that's a... Oh, by the way, real quick, that's a filter land. Uh, for people that don't know, uh, Twilight Grove is uh, a land comes in untapped. It taps for one, colorless, or you can pay green and tap it, or black and tap it, and it makes either green, green, black, black, or green, black. So it filters, you know, it, it filters your mana. Uh, you used to play a Death Shadow. So when you play Rock, sometimes you do have to play some number of basic forest. It used to be for Path to Exile, now it's also for Assassin's Trophy. And you don't want that to not be able to play your Obliterator later on. Uh, so that's something you can do. It was nice for the lulls. It'd be nice if it actually got me some wins. I hear that. This is a tricky matchup for both of us. Oh, both of us. I wonder if any companions would help as well. Can't play Luris without giving up the big dudes. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately that, that is a bit of an issue. Um, What's the... you can play the five color one if you... oh, but no, nah, that doesn't give them... that is a five five for five. Hmm. Without Obliterator or Questing Beast, you can play the 5-5 five, 5-color five, five one. That, that'd be interesting to try out. It doesn't help too much with the mana in the deck, but it does something, and it's a 5-5. Five, five. Plays well with your ramp. And it ramps itself. I don't know, maybe that's maybe that's a thing. Oh bosh, which is that? I can't remember. Uh, oops. Oops. Alright. Yes, I hear I hear you, stomach. I hear you. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna call it in just a sec. Alright. Um Yeah. Thank you again. Anything you'd like to plug? Anything you like to plug for YouTube? Oh, gotta stretch. Gotta get my stretching on. Oh, uh, there we go. Mm. Don't need to do it so hard. I pull my muscle out again. That's <laughs> that gets to be a bit of a problem. I was doing a Dark Souls run, and I, when I died once, I you know, stretched, stretched a little too far. Ooh, that. Ugh. What's the Roblox? Oof. <laughs> that hurt. Just a little. Just a lot. <laughs> <laughs> You're fine. I've been there with my bruise. <laughs> Take care. All right, and that's that's it for me. Take care, Magic Community, and I will see you all later. Bye bye. <laughs>